afternoon, A2 Economics class. You're tuned in to ECON Channel 10 News, where we keep you up to date on all things economics. This is real life! Tonight's top story. Apple plans on helping out the American economy. After suffering its largest drop in the past four years of the stock market, Apple CEO Tim Cook announces that the company will be moving a section of its production over to American soil. It will cost the company about $100 million to move from China to America. Before, Apple had received a lot of criticism for having their productions done in China, and after that, they significantly increased their salaries. Apple originally chose to move their production over to Asia because the U.S. did not offer the production skills necessary for making such high-tech equipment. This is really going to help our American economy because it's going to provide so many jobs for having our productions over here. It is. In other news, Retailers are ramping up their business hours for last-minute gift buyers, putting pressure on the competition. Many stores, including Macy's, Target, and Walmart, are staying open for over 24 hours. Walmart employees in Secaucus, New Jersey, amongst other franchise locations, picketed for better wages and benefits to balance the longer hours. The protests were organized by the United Food and Commercial Workers, but proved to be ineffective. In fact, stores have thought little of the protests and reported to have their Best Black Fridays ever. Oh, and don't worry, all the businesses will be closed on Christmas Day. In case you're anyone doing A2 Economics. That's great. It's really awesome. That I'm happy for them. Yeah. That's awesome. Everybody deserves equal hours and pay. And, I mean, to be off on Christmas Day, you want to be with your family. You don't want to be working, so that's great. It's just like 19 and 30 all over again. <laughs> Reporter Ainsley Slifer comes to us live from Florida to tell you about a recent entrepreneur's personal business decision to help gain capital. A Florida entrepreneur recently sold his last name for a whopping $45,000. Jason Sadler auctioned off his last name online to raise capital and is now MrHeadset.com. Jason is a media entrepreneur and has racked in about $250,000 a year through social marketing and advertising. His past ventures include wearing a company's logo on a t-shirt for multiple days and driving cars covered in business logos, but his new idea is causing quite the controversy. Entrepreneurs make up 12% of the economy, and it takes creativity to differentiate one's business from another's. Mm-hmm. Okay. As of January 1st, he will legally be known as JasonHeadset.com and will be for the following 365 days. Back to you, Melissa. <laughs> I'm sorry, we seem to have had some technical difficulties with that last segment, but I think we've got everything fixed and we should be back in the studio. Oh. I'm sorry. Wait. Rough flight. Good to see you back. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Yes. Thank you again for joining us tonight while we keep you updated with the breaking news of economics. This is real life! <laughs> Have a good night.